during the holiday sweet spots for car deals uh you timing is everything so you want to make sure that you know the best days to shop and the key dates of are December 31st which is the last possible day of the month of the year of the quarter of uh, this is where the dealership and their sales people are highly motivated to hit their year end uh, targets and goals so it's a prime time for securing great discounts and then also to uh, uh don't forget that you can take advantage of end of month deals in November uh, as well, not not just uh, in December, uh, because now you know we are in the holiday season, and you know the holiday season is all about spending. So um, the dealerships will, will will be promoting ways that they could collect um, on your dollars, and also it's important to not wait till the last minute, so that you are creating um, time for yourself to explore all the options. Um, ahead of time, test drive uh, ahead of time, know uh, what vehicle trim levels you're wanting and uh, so that when you are ready, you can go back uh, to the dealership to be able to negotiate. So after after that, you know, we, we want to look at your, you know, the holiday car buying checklist. And this is going to be important to make sure that first and foremost, you're setting a budget, not going in. Lean. Everyone's heard of like when you go into the grocery store hungry, you, you go for two things and you end up with a full cart and $200 later. The same thing would happen uh, for a vehicle. You want to set a budget. You want to set expectations of, uh, being comfortable with what you're spending, considering both the upfront costs and the monthly payments. That's important because when you're going to the dealership, they're going to be talking to you about what payment are you comfortable with. That means that uh, if you tell them five, six, seven hundred dollars, they can get you in a five, six, seven hundred dollar car payment, but you have told them that you are comfortable with this payment. So they're going to stretch out that loan to a 84 and 96 months, you know, as available, or they may add unnecessary things to it because you told them you're comfortable with that. Second, you want to make sure you get pre-approved uh, so that you know exactly how much loan you can qualify for and how much you can afford uh, so that you're not going in and trying to shop for $80,000 vehicle and you can only get pre-approved for $40,000 because that uh, changes what uh, vehicle type you're going to be looking at. Next, uh, being able to research models and pricing, look up the vehicles that interest you, uh, see what the fair market price is, and be well informed. Uh, utilizing the online search tools is key. Uh, you know, do not be afraid to look at different trim levels. Don't do not be afraid to look at different manufacturers uh, because nowadays most of them have the comparable um, gadgets and um, high end uh, tools in in the vehicles. And then don't forget, you know, to keep. Uh, keep an eye out for the year-end promotions uh, because now is the time that things are, cl are clearing up. And lastly, prepare for any documentation that you may need. Uh, you know, do you need uh, to make sure you have a down payment? So make sure you bring a check to the dealership. Uh, if you need, uh, you know, if you you know, ID insurance, those are like you know important things. For your pre-approval, uh, making sure that you get any documentation that that the financial institution, credit union would would request, pay stubs, ID, uh, insurance documentation, verification of uh, whatever the the loan con condition is to give you a a, a clear uh, to close loan. 
So, you know, so making sure that you are prepared and ahead of the game. So next we're going to be talking about the pre-approval uh, process and what that is and the best ways to approach um, your vehicle uh, car buying experience by being pre-approved. And uh, what a pre-approval is, is simply the process of you securing a specific loan amount and rate from uh, from U.S. and the credit union before you start, before you even begin shopping. Again, knowing what you can afford, what, what you qualify for. And also understanding, you know, what are the benefits of a pre-approval? Well, the pre-approval gives you negotiating power um, so that uh, you can go into the dealership and you already have the financing and you don't have to deal with sitting four hours in a finance office until they beat you down and wear you down, uh, where you uh, give up and accept their financing when you did not need to do that. You already have financing lined up with U.S. and or whichever um, a financial institution credit union that that you choose to go with. And ultimately, you know, it reduces uh, stress because it allows you the ability to walk into a dealership with confidence and the ability and the ability to walk out if uh, if it's if the deal that you're seeking is not going to happen because you can go to another dealership or you can search online and find the best one that works for you. And then uh, what is the difference between a pre-qual pre-qualification and a pre-approval? Uh, simply put, you know, a pre-qualification is a is like a no frills type of estimate based on what the what what your potential rate and borrowing amount may be, just based on a few basic financial details. So it's a quick process. Uh, oftentimes, may not have an impact to your credit score until you submit the application. Um, so you know, if you see a pre pre qualification offer, then you submit the application, then. At that point, it will result in a credit uh, inquiry. On the other, and then on the other hand, the pre-approval is just a more in-depth process. It's similar to when you do a pre-approval on a mortgage. You've gone through underwriting, and you have uh, more leg to stand when you're going to put in that offer uh, on that house. Similar, similarly to a pre-approval for an auto loan, you have. You are, you know, pre-approved, so you don't have to worry about, you know, am I approved? Am I not? Or, or in the case of the the, the uh, pre-qualification, and then the research tools that you're going to be looking at uh, uh, to not forget about is uh, which which is going to be essential uh, is making sure that one you start with True Car. Uh, we have a great uh, uh, True Car site on our on our website that you can research both the used and new vehicles and you may be able to receive a uh, discount uh, based on the relationship that the true car has with a particular dealership uh, in your area that you're looking to purchase a vehicle so if you're if you're wanting to purchase a, a lexus for example then your Lexus dealership based on the zip code that you put uh, on the true car site will connect you with those dealerships and it'll give you the pre-negotiated uh, price as well. Edmunds is another uh, tool to utilize uh, because it gives you insights on vehicle performance, features, long-term ownership costs, helping you compare different uh, models effectively. Um, one thing that's not on here is consumer reports. Uh, that is also another tool to utilize that I have used uh, in the past, and that gives you a lot of the details regarding reliability um, on the manufacturer and then the satisfaction that consumers are having with those particular vehicles and then what would be uh, any... Uh, quality issues uh, that may have happened in previous models that either have been fixed on future models or, or they are continuing. So it gives you those types of insights as well. 
Carfax is important, especially if you're purchasing a used vehicle and because it gives you uh, the information on if, you, if the vehicle you're looking to purchase has been in an accident, uh, service records, uh, previous owners, how many previous owners have owned this vehicle that you're wanting. Are you looking for a single owner vehicle or you don't care that this vehicle has been owned by two, three, four people, uh, which gives you a clear picture of um, if you see multiple owners, it does not always mean that there's issues with the vehicle, but it could give you insight that why are it, why does this have three, four owners in the last two, three years, which could mean that this particular vehicle may have some sort of issue um, that, that people are trading in more often. And lastly, this is what we, uh, we utilize at the credit union when you're applying for a loan is the auto check. Uh, you know, this lets us know if there's any title issues, odometer, uh, discrepancies, uh, accident history, but it goes further and it looks at structural damage, flood damage, uh, because oftentimes you want to make sure you have a Carfax or auto check uh, for, for used vehicles, especially around uh, major um, storms. So if there's hurricanes that, that have happened, major floods that have happened, usually uh, um, usually the auto auctions are flooded with those types of vehicles because they're trying, the insurance companies are unloading them onto the marketplace again and, you, and they're being sold at small mom and pop stores. So you want to be able to research that and and if a deal is too good to be true you know and, you know your this vehicle is being sold for five six seven eight thousand dollars below retail you want to do some further investigation because if, if it's too good to be true it's too good to be true so you want to make sure you review that and beyond the boat so you want to look at the real cost of ownership it's not just the the purchase price you know, there are additional components that we want to look at. You have your license and registration fees, sales taxes. And depending on the state that, that you live in or where this vehicle is going to be registered, uh, you could be paying sales tax in as low as in Virginia as 4.15 to 9% in, uh, in a handful of states. Uh, so you want to take that into consideration. You want to look at the um, age of the vehicle. Has the depreciation happened, which normally happens happens with within the first three to five years, or are you still in that high depreciation uh, flux? Uh, so you want to take that into account. Uh, I don't know about uh, anybody else, but I'm sure everyone has probably experienced this in the last twelve months is your insurance costs have skyrocketed. Yeah, um, so in the last 12 months, insurance costs have gone up 20 to 50%, depending on your insurance carrier, the, depending on the type of vehicle you're financing, depend, depending on your driving habits as well too. So that's also something to factor in. Maintenance and repair costs have also increased dramatically as uh, as uh body shops and uh, service centers are struggling to you know to have um, the proper materials to you know to take care of your vehicle if they have to fix it so those are a lot of those factors that you also want to make sure you're budgeting um, also gas uh, is is a big factor if you drive a lot you want to factor that in you know is your vehicle a gas guzzler or is your vehicle um, a hybrid or a vehicle that has a high uh, mile, I mean, the miles to the gallon ratio. So you want to take all those factors in. And then, you know, evaluating the holiday deals when you're uh, shopping during the holiday season, it's important that you carefully evaluate the deals that are offered to ensure you're getting the best value. You know, not everything seems like it's a great value. 
you know, first you want to compare if your financing options. So if you if you're going to pay in cash or if you're going to finance it. So if you're going to pay in cash, then you know this may not be applicable to you on the financing section. But if you're going to be financing, you want to make sure you um you find a financial partner like U.S. Senate, which offers stable competitive rates and maintains those competitive rates with that ebbs and flows and, and what the, the market is doing. Uh, because at the dealerships, oftentimes you'll find where uh, the finance managers will buy down your rate or, or they'll creep in uh, a higher rate because they get an added incentive of, you know, for doing that. So you want to make sure that uh, when you're choosing financing, you avoid any surprises and then you stick to the benefits of that the U.S. Senate offers you. And next, you want to look at a seasonal promotions. Um, it's not just in December, but there's other times of the year that dealerships will offer uh, incentives. Memorial Day weekend is is another big uh, time that that vehicles are are moving. Around major holidays is when you may see uh, more promotions during that time. And also, too, you want to avoid uh, weekends because on the weekend, typically, most people that's the only time they're able to go and shop for a vehicle. So the dealerships have a pick of the letter, if you want to call it. If you don't buy that vehicle, somebody else, you know, who comes in after you will. Whereas if you go during the week when it's, um, you know, like a, a Tuesday or a Wednesday, which is one of their slowest days, then they may be more apt uh, to also negotiate with you. And then finally, you want to avoid any hidden fees uh, so when you're financing through the dealership, you want to clearly and meticulously review all the documentation thoroughly. I have seen and heard multiple, countless times where members are quoted a rate, um, but then when they go sign, the dealerships are hiding uh, the the finance document where and they're having you just sign or there's skimming through so quickly that they don't give you the opportunity to review what you're signing. And then um, when after that that uh, new car high wears off and you you review your documents, it's too late because you've already signed uh, for that for that loan uh, if you go through through the dealership. So there isn't anything that you know can be done unfortunately. You know, your option would be to refinance with you with the US Senate. And then negotiating uh, for the best deal. So you want to make sure that again you are researching, uh, knowing what the fair market value of the car you want is, utilizing you know true car, Kelly Blue Book. You can also call the the, the credit union. We can give you a vehicle value if you have the the VIN number and the VIN and then any applicable trim levels and options that we can give you um, that value over the phone as well. And then use your negotiation techniques by asking for a lower price than, than you're willing to pay. Uh, normally, uh, a vehicle value has, uh, you know, three tiers. You know, it has an average value, a trade-in value, and a clean retail value. And the trade-in value normally is what uh, the dealerships um, purchase those vehicles from from uh, other consumers as they're trading those vehicles in. So that's like a good uh, point to start at is is at the trade-in value, and then you can so you have uh, some room between the trade-in value and the clean retail value. And then, you know, make sure that, you know, um, you are polite but firm. And remember that dealerships expect some back and forth. And so don't hesitate, you know, to, to advocate for yourself for a better price. Uh, and then knowing the limits, you know, setting a maximum price that you're willing to walk away from. And, and that's the one thing that I see a lot of 
is that you get trapped in this, well, I really want this vehicle, uh, which is fine, but if it if it blows up your budget uh, and you say, well, I'll, I'll figure it out. As consumers, we know life happens and that figuring out may not always uh, transpire. So you want to make sure that, you know, you don't set yourself up for failure uh, in the in the future and they overextend yourself. And then dodging those holiday add-ons. That is what I call the bloat. You know, making sure that you understand uh, that dealership fees, you know, those uh, processing fees that every dealership now has, those actually are negotiable. Those are not mandated by by any state. So those are up for negotiation. If if there's a dealership that's offering a hundred dollar uh, processing fee, but the but another dealership you you've been looking at is charging eight hundred dollars or five hundred dollars, then you have room to to negotiate um, those unnecessary expenses. And then you know consider you know if you consider adding like a warranty or tire protection or some sort of uh, protection to your uh, to your vehicle you know they do paint protection as well too um, you can also look to see if there's a, another affordable option through a third party you know you don't have to go with the dealership I have seen many times where uh, the dealership has added a warranty on on a member's purchase order and then we're we're doing the financing for the for the member, and it, I've seen warranties, you know, over four thousand dollars. And in this particular vehicle, it was you know, I believe it was like a Toyota Camry. Those have you know, like a standard, you know, between sixteen to eighteen hundred dollar uh, warranty at the most. So the dealership was charging double what we were offering our member. And then the member, you know, went back to the dealership and miraculously the dealership was able to cut the warranty in half. Well, to be honest with you, I don't want to, I don't want to do business, especially if I'm, I'm purchasing a warranty with someone who's trying to sell it to me at a higher price. And then when my, uh, when my credit union is offering it at a very nominal price and then then they'll try to match it or try to beat that that means that you know uh, at that point like you know for me personally uh, i'd rather go through you know someone else but at the end of the day do your research find the best options uh, for you you can add war so warranties you can add those uh outside like you don't have to finance your vehicle uh, with with us Senate to be able to purchase a warranty with us Senate. you just pay for that out of pocket so 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 do remember that warranties you can purchase out of pocket uh, you don't have to finance them uh, into the loan you don't have to purchase them at the dealership you, you can purchase them through other third parties um, as well and then also to uh, just making sure that uh, you are breaking down all of the all the charges before you sign, asking them what is this for, what is this for, what does this do, is important. Uh, so and then decline anything that's unnecessary and make sure that it has been removed. Uh, that's that's important. Make sure it's been removed and uh, and when you're reviewing uh, those updated of. Uh, purchase orders, I would just do like a screenshot of what, what it was before so that w when they bring you the new purchase order, you can clearly do a side-to-side a -side comparison to look at, okay, this is removed or it has not been removed. And then you can clearly see uh, if there's anything in there that, that has not been removed, even though they told you it would be removed. And then the Carfax, uh, you know, you want to look at the Carfax report because it's going to uh, tell you a lot about the past history of ownership and understanding it is important because you want to say, okay, how have the previous owners 
managed uh, this vehicle? Have they done the service records or, or have they maintained the service on this vehicle or do you not see any service records at all that are reported on Carfax? Because a lot of uh, service centers do report uh, based on your VIN and the mileage, you know, when oil changes are done, when, uh, you know, they, they, they fix a recall or whatnot. Then you want to look at, make sure, you know, there's no odometer rollback. Uh, believe it or not, it still happens. It's uh, even though technology has improved, it could still uh, happen. So you want to make sure you are uh, reviewing that as well. And reviewing the title history of the vehicle. Does this vehicle have title issues? Title issues could be where it's a salvage title. Uh, that means it's marked as a lemon. It was, and it's been damaged by fire, by flood, by hail. Those are considered salvage titles. You know, U.S. Senate does not finance uh, salvage titles, structural damage. Uh, so, and because that is to protect you as a as a consumer, because that vehicle is not worth um, the price that is being sold. If you were to try to sell that vehicle uh, to someone else, then or if you were to trade it in to a dealership, they wouldn't give you even half of what um, you know is it's worth. And then, uh, you know, lastly, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, there isn't, uh, it, it, is the warranty expired or as a, or do you still have some warranty left? Um, the, the manufacturer's warranty I'm, I'm talking about. So that gives you like a clear insight as well, whether the manufacturer's warranty has expired or you can look for other options. And then, Making sure that you are test driving uh, the, this vehicle, it's very important. I will tell you, um, I purchased the vehicle in 2022, which was at the height of when prices were ridiculous and inventory was scarce. Uh, but it took me one year to find the right vehicle uh, for me uh, because I I wanted a specific vehicle and um, I, I, I didn't really care about uh, the, the trim so much as the mileage of the vehicle, you know, the, um, the comfort of the vehicle, the space that I had available to me, you know, is it easy to maneuver around the car? Does it have blind spots that, you know, me as a driver is not able uh, to see other drivers? You know, does it have the technology that I was looking for? Uh, so you want to look at all of all of those. Uh, how is the handling, the noise level? You know, those should be important because, uh, yeah, because if, if you're driving this like, you know, long distance and it's making a lot of noise as you're driving and because you feel like you can feel the road underneath you, then that's going to be very uh, uncomfortable as well. And then, you know, making sure that you look at the tech features, whether it's navigation, sound system, uh, any of the technology, the blind spot monitoring, the backup cameras, the the, the cross um, track and all of that. And then making sure that you, the vehicle has the space you need. Does it have enough trunk space so that you can put uh, a decent amount of you know luggage or stuff? Or does it have a third row? seat that makes the vehicle not have a uh, trunk space at all. So those are things, you know, to uh, consider. And then making sure that, you know, you're able to, uh, probably something that we don't think about is parking. Uh, you know, if you live in, in a big city or you live in a, a neighborhood where parking is tight, uh, you want to consider, am I going to be able to park this vehicle? Am I going to be able to a maneuver through the street, uh, and uh, will will the mirrors fold as I'm driving, or do I have to manually, you know, fold them to be able to get through and not not uh, get hit by the Amazon truck, uh, you know, um, and going past me? So those those are the things to uh, to think about. You know, if you if you're in a rural community, that may not be as important to you, uh, but you know. 
those are things that you know we don't look at. And then making sure that you're testing multiple models with different trim levels so that you can see the differences. You know, uh, a base model versus a fully loaded is going to be night and day. So you want to make sure that um, you know you are satisfied with what you, what you're uh, purchasing. And then with the financing with USA, you uh, US um, you know, making sure that you're able to explore your uh, auto loan options. You know, at here at the credit union, we offer both uh, purchase and refinancing of our new or used vehicles. We have competitive uh, rates on both our, our new and used vehicles uh, with flexible loan terms up to 84 uh, months. We offer the pre-approval. Uh, and then as a member, we offer uh, a, a relationship discount of up to half a percent if you take advantage of auto debit from a US Senate account or and or have access to online banking in the last uh, 30 days. And then, you know, as a member, you can also uh, check your uh, pre-qualification uh, without affecting credit score until you submit the application, which will result in an inquiry. Uh, so those are things that we offer here at the credit union. Uh, you can apply at the convenience um, online, over the phone. We offer uh, we offer 24-7 um, uh, availability of loan officers with, with our after hours service. So you can talk to somebody at two o'clock in the morning if you're in the mood to to apply for a loan or to talk about uh, general loan questions as well. Um, and then uh, as you're uh, doing your vehicle purchase, you wanna make sure that you're looking at ways to protect your loan, to protect the vehicle and to protect your yourself and your family um, and to give yourself you know, peace of mind. Uh, here at U.S. Senate, we offer uh, gap plus protection. Uh, currently, uh, it, it offers uh, a rich benefit of you know in the event of a total loss or your vehicle is stolen and and not you know recoverable. Uh, where the difference that's uh, paid, the difference be between what the insurance pays which is called the residual value and and what your loan balance is is called the the gap and then that's where the gap plus insure um protection steps in and it will pay off the balance and then additionally to that if you finance your next vehicle with your US Senate then you'll get a thousand dollars towards uh, financing your next vehicle with us. And then another benefit that we offer with our gap protection is called auto deductible reimbursement. And when there is a, a non-total loss event, say a fender bender, you know, a, a bike hit hit your vehicle and then you have to, to go and fix it, or someone hit you and you you have to go fix it, you can get reimbursed up to five hundred dollars per loss, unlimited, uh, for the first three years. And it also covers your other insured vehicles, and they those don't have to be financed at U.S. Senate. So those are some of the great benefits you know that we have on our gap. And then, uh, and then when when life takes over, a uh, debt shield uh, can protect you in the in the event of loss of life, a disability, uh, which may happen from illness or injury and involuntary unemployment. We are in a precarious time where even though the economy seems to be great, we're seeing uh, major employers are laying off people. We're, we're seeing um, consumers, people who are facing health issues uh, and, and it like one in two people uh, in their lifetime will experience some sort of disability. And disability protection through your through your employer covers between 60 to, to 66% of your salary. 
I can attest to that because you know um my 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 spouse we 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 just had a baby and uh you know she's not getting her full salary while she's on maternity leave so you know that is a huge chunk how are you going to make up the 34 to 40% of income loss you know do you have an emergency fund to cover that and that's where you know debt protection can step in the same thing for uh, unemployment you know there we think we're in a safe um industry we're in a safe job and look at what happened in 2020 uh, with covid where there was major uh, layoffs across all industries no industry was untouched with the exception probably the healthcare industry because they were in, in, inundated uh, but even then uh, those employees uh, and, and ended up you know getting sick as well so that protection would have you know help them as well so it's important to to not think of this as you know if something happens but it's more of when something happens because we in life we don't know when it's going to happen it's going to happen two things we can prevent is death and taxes you know so uh unfortunately um you know we are uh we don't want anybody to to experience those things but in those events you know we are here to assist you uh, with those things. And then, then the last uh, protection we have for your vehicle is extended warranties. Uh, here at US Senate, we offer comprehensive uh, extended warranty protection uh, that we have protection that offer a factory type warranty uh, to one that is just basic, uh, just uh, covers the main uh, main components. Uh, of your vehicle. So we have those options. So as you're looking at uh, vehicle purchasing, uh, you know, do check out to see if an extended warranty would uh, be a benefit to you. We, we we just need the VIN and the current mileage, and we will be able to give you a free quote. And uh, you can also, uh, you know, uh, take advantage of the warranty and do like a free 60 day look and then if you change your mind then you, uh, you you will get a full refund back if you keep it and then down the road you you sell your vehicle or you trade in your vehicle then you could um and then you could still cancel it for a prorated uh refund so those are the options uh you know for you that we offer here at the credit union so that you don't think have to uh, wonder or think that you only get things from the, the dealership because you're at the credit union. We try to provide you the best value because at the end of the day, we are here to serve our members and not uh, profit. Regarding the car buying service, uh, you know, powered by True Car, uh, this is a, a major benefit that that we offer uh, to our members, and uh, we see many people who take advantage um, of that. You know, you are connected through trusted uh, local certified dealers who provide you the information, the tools to be able to make the best decision. It gives you a search and shop anywhere tool. You, you'll have access to over 700,000 used vehicles across the country uh, to look for. And then you have the transparency and confidence uh, that you know uh, you may not get if you're manually doing this on your own. So you can find more about uh, TrueCar at ussfcu.org slash uh, TrueCar. <clears throat> and then lastly, uh, the credit union right now is offering a auto loan promotion for the month of November and December, where for every for every dollar that you finance, the 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 credit union will will match uh one small rewards point up to fifty thousand points. So if your auto loan is for fifty thousand dollars, then if you have a small rewards credit card with U.S. Senate, or uh, you if you don't have one, then uh you obtain one, then we would uh deposit fifty thousand points into your small rewards card. 
Uh, if you have an $80,000 loan, then $50,000 is the maximum. If you do a $20,000 loan, 20,000 points would be transferred. So it's like dollar for dollar, uh, up to 50,000 uh, points. So that is a great benefit that we're offering. And if you don't have a credit card, that's perfectly fine. So if you fund a loan in the month of November, then you have up until December 15th to open and fund your, your Smart Rewards credit card uh, because on December 16th is when the, the bonus uh, points are added to your credit card. And then for the month of November, uh, De December, excuse me, if you fund it during the month of December, then you have up until January 15th to be able to uh, open and fund your credit card, Smart Rewards credit card, because on January the 16th, uh, 2025 is when the bonus is deposited into your um, into your smart rewards account. So, and then you uh, you can uh, use this for gift cards, hotels, uh, travel rewards, cash back, m merchandise. So, there's a lot of options that you can redeem um, that for. And then throughout the year. With our smart rewards card, you know we uh, do special uh, bonus promotions. So for the month of November, uh, November twenty third through December second or third, if if I'm not mistaken, uh, you'll for every dollar you spend, you earn ten bonus points, uh, and there's no category limits on that. Um, and then for the month of December, December 4th through December 31st, then it's five points for every dollar uh, that you spend. So, and then we do, we do periodically through um, um, the summer season, usually with back to school. So we, we offer like a promotional um, opportunities for our members on that. All right. So, you know, if you're ready to apply for for a car loan, you know, don't hesitate uh, to reach out to us through ussfcu.org slash auto. And then you can uh, you can apply through online banking or through 800-374-2758. And again, you can um, apply at your convenience or if you want to speak to uh a seasoned loan officer during the day, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we can assist you with any questions you may have before you apply. Or if you just want to pick our brain uh, without applying, we definitely assist our members with that as well. So, um, so I'm going to open it up to Q&A and then um, we'll go from there. Hey, Elton. Thank you so much, Sean. That was a that was a great presentation. I mean, I think you you did give us a lot of tools so we can use, especially as I stated at the beginning, and anyone that is in the market right now to go and buy your dream car, or or even if it's just you know an upgrade, or or if you're like me, you know, uh, we just work on our, our second child uh, early the uh, well at, at the beginning of the summer. So you know, I'm actually in the market of, for buying a, a minivan. Never thought I would say that to myself, but you know what? Um, here I am looking for minivan. So uh, and I know Elton yourself, you just welcomed a new a new member to your family as well too. So congratulations. Um, so again, uh, regardless of you know of where you are, um, if you are uh, if you're thinking about buying a new car or use, uh, you know uh, make sure that you reach out to us first. Uh, we do have very competitive rates, uh, and most important, the uh, the promotion that uh, the Elton talked about. Um, you can get up to 50,000 uh, rewards points um, just by simply, you know, getting a car loan and having a credit card with us. So that's that's a no brainer. I know we talked about credit cards just last week. Um, you know, all those points that uh, that, that you don't want to you, you want you don't want to leave on the table and uh, make sure that, you know, you, you take advantage of them and then use those uh, towards your next uh, big purchase or maybe saving for uh, the next holiday season, you know, whatever your plans are. Uh, we're here to assist. So again, Elton, thank you. Thank you for that uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, Eddie, uh, do we have any questions in the chat or the Q&A that, uh, that you want to go ahead and share with Elton? Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Elton, for sharing your knowledge, you know, sharing that presentation. 
And, you know, I learned a, a few tips, you know, like don't go on to the dealer on the weekends, go early on the week. You know, that's one of those things that I didn't know. So thank you very much. Uh, and then all, I'm on other things, you know, but let's get to the questions. And the first question is, do any of your discounts happen, happen at non-negotiating places like CarMax? Is that something that happens, uh, you know, at those places, the end of your discounts that you were mentioning? So CarMax is considered a uh, no, no no negotiating type of dealership. So oftentimes you will not find opportunities, but they may have some opportunities. But most of the time, uh, CarMax is no no negotiation. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely uh, add to that. Uh, you know, if if you're in the market, you know, especially in in the used market, uh. Uh, check check the dealers first. You know, check check for those pre-certified uh, certified pre-owned vehicles. Uh, oftentimes, you know, those, those can even come with a with 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 a warranty. Uh, just because they're 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 belong to the dealership, um, and then uh, with them you 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 will be able to uh, uh, <clears throat> to to perhaps you know uh, be able to negotiate to a better price. Uh, also, some of those fees that Elton talked about, some of those fees that are not set on stone, especially the the processing fees. I know that, that those fees can vary. I mean, it can be, uh, you know, anywhere between six hundred to even uh, over a thousand dollars, depending on on the type of dealer that you go to. Um, a CarMax is a great place um, that I would recommend for those that are looking to sell a car. If you want to sell your car, um, and uh, and instead of doing a trade-in with the dealership, uh, and you might try to get a better offer, you might you might be able to get a better offer at a CarMax, um, just because they will do an assessment uh, uh, of your vehicle without even uh, committing to sell it to them, uh, but they can give you a a, a fair um, a fair offer uh, that you can take that uh, and bring it back to the dealership, or if they don't want to match it, then you can just go back to CarMax and sell that, but. Uh, but if you're looking for a place where you can actually negotiate, we would highly recommend that you stick to the, uh, uh, you know, your traditional dealerships, um, that those are where you might be able to find uh, the best deals. And obviously, you know, where you'll be able to negotiate um, and maybe drive out, you know, with, with a with a with the sense that you 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 got a, you got yourself a, a much better deal. Um, and uh, and that would be something that I would add to that to, to the question. So but again, I, that was an excellent question. Thanks, Eddie. No problem. No, that was definitely an excellent question. And as you're saying, uh, sometimes people don't know, you know, how to get perhaps, you know, how to sell their car without getting a trade in. So I think, you know, like you were saying, places like that one that was mentioned, like CarMax, uh, that's definitely a great option. I do have a couple of anonymous questions that people send me directly. So thank you very much for those people that send me these questions. And uh, one of the questions is talking about pre-approvals. Uh, do I need to know which vehicle I'm in the market for? Or can I just get approved for the amount and then I can make up my mind once I go to the dealer? So uh, what would be the recommendation? That let's say, for example, somebody's debating, can they just get the amount or do they need to tell us which vehicle they want to purchase? Uh, yes, that is a great uh, question. So you could get pre-approved for the dollar amount. We don't need to, uh, we don't need your vehicle details in the beginning, you know, once you uh, find your vehicle, then you then you would provide your purchase order. And then at that time, we would update uh, your final loan numbers based on what the purchase order has. But in, initially, we just need the pre-approval where you can select, you know, vehicle on now. That's perfectly fine. All right. That's something new to learn. You know, I, I actually didn't know that. So thank you very much for, you know, that... Um, the attendee that sent that question. So you can get definitely like Elton was saying, just to emphasize his answer, you can get pre-approved for the amount, but you know, once you, you know, get the, the vehicle and then you get the loan with us, then we'll need that specific information. Uh, Milton, you want to add something to that? You know, I was just going to say that, and that's the beauty of the, uh, you know, of, of getting the pre-approval process, you know, uh, it gives you the confidence um, that you can walk into into a dealership and, and then you already know the financing is approved. It's now a matter of what uh, Elton recommended, which is the test drive. Um, you know, nowadays, uh, uh, you know, again, and, and I might sound like a broken record here, but uh, uh, Elton hit it right on the nail when when we talked about, or especially the newer cars, uh, the technology that that they are incorporating on, on on the newer cars. Even if you don't get the the, the highest trim, the the most luxury one, or without you know purchasing a luxury you know quote unquote car. 
Um, you know, most cars are now coming with a lot of uh, standard features that uh, that before, you know, a few days, a few years ago, you had to pay, uh, you know, uh, extra money for 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 those features. Now they it almost, you know, comes standard for for most uh, more, for most uh, 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 automotive uh, 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 brands. So again, uh, you know, uh, the beauty of uh, getting pre-approved is that you 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 give that yourself peace of mind that you you already know that you have a check. Um, what is the most that you can uh, you can spend? Uh, it also stays it helps you stay within your budget. Uh, as Elton mentioned, um, if you go to a dealership and they, the first question they will ask you what you know what are the monthly payments that you want to stay? Uh, you know what what can you afford? What are the monthly payments that you can afford? And you give them a number and they will find a way um, to keep you within that number. But uh, you know who knows? Are you are you getting a car loan for 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 eight? um nine years maybe you know do you really want to do that um you know and, and again you know ask yourself those questions and uh, and i know oftentimes you know that's the most um uh, stressful part of of the financing when you go to a dealer so getting the financing out of the way ahead of time uh, and especially with a credit union like us uh you know it's truly truly uh, uh, uh something that i'll recommend to anyone i mean credit unions are known for looking out for the members um, one thing I will tell you, I'm not, I don't think Elton mentioned it, but the most the most we will charge on any of the auto loans that we offer here at the credit union is 18 uh, percent. And the reason why I say that, I know that, that that percentage is high, but for someone that that is it's 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 my might I have a couple of hiccups here and there with the credit. And, and if for some reason, you know, uh, you don't have an excellent credit or or or, or a perfect credit. Um, you know, some of the dealers can't take advantage of you and they might give you a loan um, in the 20, in the 20s uh, with, when it comes to the uh, interest rate. So, you know, don't 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 do that. Um, you know, we, we're here to help you save. Uh, we we want to we want to be your partner when it comes to uh, this type of uh, uh, loans. And, uh, and it's a no brainer. Again, I highly recommend anyone uh, if you're in the market. Uh, you know, to purchase a car, to uh, give us a call first, uh, come in person. We know we have two branches, actually three now, uh, or GAO. Uh, it's open uh, to uh, an extra day now in DC. So if you're in the, in the, in the Chinatown area, if you want to stop by the branch, uh, you know, feel free to stop by in person or uh, you can visit us at the, at the Hart Senate building or in our headquarters at the uh, Bowman branch and uh, right in front of the Braddock Metro station and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, for those that are not uh, near a branch, you know, again, um, give us a call or go to the go to our website, uh, myusfcu.org, and then we will be more than happy to assist you with your car buying experience. And, and that is our goal, to make it as smooth as possible. And uh, Elton has an amazing team, um, very seasoned uh, 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 teammates that he has. Uh, they will make sure that they will answer every question that you have before you sign uh, on the dotted line and you're, you know, committing to a, a, a particular loan, uh, you know, when you're buying your, your dream car. So again, uh, give us a call. Uh, Eddie, any other questions before uh, we let everyone go? Yes, I do have a question. We do want to be mindful of people's time, but at the same time, we have these great questions that I'm sure that more than, you know, more, more than one of us is maybe curious about it or it's wondering, or it might, you know, answer maybe other concerns that you may have. So the question is, uh, I'm a faithful member of USS FCU, uh, but unfortunately, I just went to the dealer and they got me before getting the approval letter. Uh, the deal sounded very nice. Uh, I signed the papers, but now I regret it because I believe USS FCU can give me a better deal. I've been having this loan for two months. How soon can I refinance this car loan we use at USS FCU? Uh, you can refinance at any time. And what we often hear from our consumers is the dealership tells them that they must keep their, their loan for, for 90 days before they're eligible to refinance. That is uh, very inaccurate for the simple fact that once you sign and the finance company takes over your loan, the dealership has no say in if you move your loan to another uh, another financial institution. The only reason why they're telling you that is because they want to maintain um, the incentive that they're getting for getting you to finance with the dealership. They have a 90-day kickback where if you take it somewhere else, then that 90 then that incentive that they got paid 
gets clawed back. That's the only reason why we often hear where um, the dealership reps are telling members, you must keep it for 90 days or six or 60 days or 120 days, whatever the case may be. But normally we hear the 90 day rule, but that's inaccurate. And, and you should not follow, you should not follow the advice of a salesperson because once that loan is, is sold to the finance company, then the dealership has no recourse to claw back any incentive that you receive because oftentimes that's what, what they'll use it for is if you finance with them, then, then they'll give you, uh, an incentive, uh, you know, off of off of the purchase price of the vehicle after you finance it they can't take it back so they can't do any anything about it so we will be more than happy to assist uh, the, the member awesome thank you so much elton that was a great answer and again as elton said it you know there's no time frame so if you want to refinance uh, but well, by all means, we'll be more than happy to uh, to 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 work that in for you as well too. So all you have to do is give us a call, uh, visit our website, or come and see us in person. So again, uh, those those were great questions, uh, Eddie. Thank you so much for reading those. More most important, Elton. Thank you for answering those questions for us. We truly truly appreciate you. Uh, and before we let everyone go, we do want to remind everyone of uh, the the webinar that we have next week, uh, which is. Uh, click with confidence, uh, safeguarding your holiday shopping. Again, I know, uh, you know, this is a, a, a topic that we always talk about, uh, which is fraud, uh, how you can protect yourself from being a, be, be, being another number to the stats that we see every year uh, in the number of, uh, of uh, you know, of people that, that, that somehow are, uh, you know, victims of uh, of a fraud, or you know, they they stolen their identity, or they took money away from their accounts and whatnot. Um, you know, if 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 you are uh, if you want to know more about that, please please come in and join us next week. We would love to have you back. Um, and again, you know, we would love if you spread the word. Um, everything that we put here is not only for our members, as I stated at the beginning. It's actually open to anyone. Um, so let, let your neighbors know, let, let your community, everyone know that, you know, that, that the United States and the Federal Credit Union um, has very, very uh, great, uh, uh, in, uh, you know, important information that we share uh, during our weekly Wednesday webinar. So again, thank you all for being with us this evening. Um, Elton, again, thank you so much. Kim, as always, congratulations on your 17 years. And Eddie, uh, thank you, thank you for being with us, also with us. And um, anything else you guys want to share before we we wrap it up? Excellent job, panelist team. Excellent job. Thank you, everybody. It. Have a good night. Thank Goodbye. you, everybody. Thank we'll you. See you I believe that was Elton's baby that uh, that wanted to say hello to everyone, but uh, he uh, he hang up on us. So again, uh, thank you all. And we'll see you again next week. You'll have a wonderful